what am I supposed to do with my hands right now, my guy? Hey sis, you're seeing my hands right now because your girl's gonna try her hands at an actual declutter, the correct way. The two I've done, I've had like a set aside pile of stuff that I wanted to get rid of and this time, I'm going to do it the way people actually do it and just kind of like go through my stuff live. Oh, I have an idea. How about I just do this and you pretend that it's me talking? Does that work for you? Well, your girl needs to get rid of some stuff, okay? This does not all get worn. This does not all get utilized. It's not fair. I want to get rid of at least, ooh, we'll say five products? Sure. Let's organize this in terms of finish. That seems like a thing people do. Up here we have classic bullet lipsticks. Over here we have liquid lipsticks. Right here we have pencil lipsticks or lip liners. Over here we have lip treatments and lip balms. And this, by far the largest category, is all of my lip glosses. This is my Sugar Plum Fairy Lip Scrub from Lush. I'm definitely not getting rid of this. I use it pretty much every single day because my lips be chapped on the regular. This is my Jack Black lip balm. I always buy the natural mint scent. I love this stuff. This is one of my favorite lip balms to use. This is a Virtuoso lip balm from Trader Joe's. These taste like eating an entire package of mint lifesavers at once and they're wonderful and I'm holding on to it. This is my Tarte Lip Rescue in the shade Berry. This is just a super sheer with a bit of shine lip balm type situation. These are great to just have in your purse. The cardboard packaging is hilarious and cheap looking and makes it feel like it's not at all high end. And I think it's funny. Um, I love this. It's really utilitarian, so I don't wanna get rid of it. Treatments and balms are done with. Let's get into some of the harder stuff. Next up is my Smashbox Always Sharp Lip Liner in the shade Crimson. This was in the Sephora Give Me Some Lip and Liner set from 2016. This is the only red lip liner that I will ever need and or want. I love this. It's creamy. It's comfortable if you want to wear it on the entire lips. It's obviously a beautiful color and it's got it's self sharpening when you put the cap on it remolds itself into a perfect point. Hence the name always sharp. <laughs> She's great. I love her. She's a good pal. Next up are my two elf matte lip colors. I have the shades wine which is right here and the shade cranberry right here. I'm such an embarrassment but I'm going to keep both of these. I'm literally Pathetic. This is wine. This is, I've talked about the shade before. This is the one that is the exact same color, almost to a T, of Santa Ana from Ofra. And this is cranberry. I talked about this in my fall favorites. This is gorgeous, deep berry red. Love her so much. I'm keeping both of these because I actually do wear them. I'm gonna go right into my liquid lipsticks and I'm gonna start with one that I'm almost certain I'm going to get rid of. This is my essentially brand new NYX Powder Puff Lippy in the shade Pop Quiz. I, first of all, I am in the camp of people that despises the word lippy. I'm sorry, I think it's weird and cutesy and I, I don't like it. It's a lovely color. It's like a pretty red berry. It's not too deep. It, the package makes it look real purple, but it's honestly not. It's got one of those fuzzy applicators like the Too Faced Melted Lipsticks from a little while back. The formula is like high key uncomfortable. It's drying, but also quite thin. So there's no like extra product to kind of cushion your lips. You can already see the swatch is kind of inconsistent and streaky. It just kind of like takes too much work to get a precise line. Despite the fact that I just got this, I already know that I'm really not gonna get all that much use out of it. I have similar enough colors in my collection that it's just like not worth it. So bye sis. The next product I'm pretty sure that I'm getting out of my collection is my Colored Rain Liquid Lipstick in the shade Red Dragon. This is the first and only metallic liquid lipstick in my collection because as I've explained before, I don't like metallic liquid lipsticks one smidgen of a bit. It's a beautiful color, honestly. It's a really classic orangey toned red. I barely wear red lipstick as it is, to be quite honest. This never gets worn. You already know her. She's got a reputation around these parts. This is my LA Girl Matte Flat Finish Pigment Gloss in the shade Stunner. I've talked in at least two different videos about how much I don't like this. I don't like it. It smells like chlorine. It dries down sticky. It's drying and uncomfortable and really hard to get off. And it's not a wearable color. It's like objectively a pretty color, but it's not a pretty color for me. It's not a pretty color for my lips. This is my NYX Liquid Suede in the shade Alien. This is actually low key one of my favorites. This, I think it's black. Some people think it's slate gray. Some people think it's dark green. I think it's black. I love it. 
I think it's just useful to have a black liquid lipstick, honestly. Like, it's great for darkening up other colors. It's fun to mix with. It looks really powerful when I wear it on my own. It's just real cute. And also, I got it on super clearance at Nordstrom Rack, so just like the LA Girl one, it's not exactly hurt in my pocket to keep it around. So she's staying. She's... She's still invited to the cookout. Also, this is my thigh right here, in case you're wondering what this anonymous piece of flesh on the corner of their screen is. I'm sorry. Next up is another liquid suede. This one is the shade Cherry Skies. Girl, you would have to fight me to get me to get rid of this baby girl. I am so in love with this lipstick. She's so pretty. This sweet baby angel is like a true berry red. She's beauty, she's grace. She'll punch you in the face with pigmentation. <laughs> but for real, I wear this a lot. Kind of like a deep, juicy raspberry color. These are my Maybelline Superstay Matte Inks. This one is the shade Pioneer, and this one is Voyager. These are both quite nice. I'm gonna swatch Pioneer first over here. Pioneer is actually similar to Cherry Skies. It's a berry red, kind of a raspberry moment, but it's, you know, very clearly a lot lighter. And then Voyager is actually, now that I've gotten rid of a lot of my plums over the years, this might be the vampiest non-black color I have. This is a lot more deeper of a berry. You got some magenta, you got almost a bit of a purple moment there. To be quite honest with you, I wear Voyager a heck of a lot more than I wear Pioneer, even though really Pioneer is a more like everyday wearable <laughs> color boop boop makeup robots we have to abide by what is wearable and what's not Ugh. gotta get rid of pioneer this one i just bought this is my physician's formula the healthy lip velvet finish liquid lipstick i have the shade oh girl this shade is called nut tricious <laughs> nut tricious I don't know if you can see that, but I'm not lying. That's what it says. I'm not just trying to be juvenile. This is like quite pretty, actually. This is a nude brown. It's a little bit, it's got a little bit of a cool mauve in there. When I wear just like a single layer of this, it's actually like the most neutral, my lips, but cooler. <laughs> when I double up on layers, you start to see a little bit more of the cool tone pink at work there, but what you're seeing right now is like it in its most wearable natural form and I love it for that. It's quite comfortable. I've heard people rave about these and I don't know if it deserves like raving, but they're nice. I like them, they're comfy. If you got Physicians Formula money, I would look into them. My last liquid lipstick to talk about is my Ruby Kisses Forever Matte Kylie Cosmetics Total Hilarious Knockoff <laughs> liquid lipstick. This is in the shade Nini. I wore this in my recent Get Ready With Me. This is real pretty. Ooh, she nice. She gorgeous. She's like pink, but she's not. She's red, but she's not. She's berry, but she's not. I love her. It smells like weird artificial strawberries. <gasps> you know what this smells like? It smells like the strawberry candies that every grandmother has in their purse. It's like, you know, the candies that once you turn 65, they automatically just materialize around your home. Like you're not actually legally allowed to purchase them. Literally, you just hit a threshold and then they are in your house. I love this. I wear this a lot, actually. Okay, literally, where is my Ofra liquid lipstick? I sounded so <laughs> entitled. Literally, where? Oh, there it is. All right, you already know. This is the homie. This is Santa Anna from Ofra. So like I said before, this is wine from Elf and Santa Anna's gonna snuggle in right next to her twin. I love having this one shade in two different finishes. It's just nice to have that variety. And that is gonna be it for part one on this seemingly endless declutter. I'm gonna be doing lipstick bullets next and then lip glosses. I'm splitting this into three parts because I didn't want this video to be roughly 455 trillion years long. Um, thank you so much for watching. If you could do me a quick favor before you leave and have an gosh darn great day. That would be fantastic. Thank you. Um, thank you for watching. Goodbye.